JR Veterans Day at the Hinson's Tire. Hinson's Tire Pro Winter Classic with Quest of College versus the College of the Sequoias. I'm John Arnold. This is uh, the monster of mayhem in sports information, Peter Schuler. There you go. And we're doing play-by-play -play for the opening game of the season, is it, Pete? This is the opening game of the season, the 22-23 season. Yep. You got to come in here. And Good introductions minutes. are being done right now. Yep. Oh, we got introductions so coming in. Who is starting lineups for both teams? No, awesome. Starting off with Sequoias. And Sequoias. <laughs> and we got like a little <laughs> mic malfunction here. Yeah, they study broadcasting at Cuesta College. Okay, so get those, it. Oh, there we go. We got Quest, Questas. Questas starting lineup there right there is Aaron Russell, then Drew Ardwin. He's a freshman out of out of Tascadero. Got Wani Dasky, returning first team all conference player. Maurice Snyder. And Mason Romano. A good solid starting group for the Cougars. Just, just looking at the interesting thing about, about you know, Veterans Day, November 11th, the year back in uh, over 110 years ago when World War One ended, but looking at some of these teams, at some of the players on the team that we have in Australia, and of course the Anzacs and Gallipoli and all that stuff, and Belgium. So do we have any Axis powers uh, here today uh, represented? I don't think so. We have Switzerland. Switzerland which is got all the money We have Belgium, uh, which had, in World War II is yeah. taken over rather quickly, if and, I recall. And, uh, and then we have we Hawaii, have which wasn't a state at that time. Nope. And Mathis Michel, who, who's okay, so from, we got from Martinique, off. which is part of France. So here so we go. We so Mason Romano tipping off for Cuesta. And Cameron Clark wins the tip for Sequoia. Sequoia comes in. They're ranked preseason number two in the st in the region. Uh, so pre basically preseason number two in the state for Northern California. So this is a tough test for the Cougars to open the season with right oh, here. with the lob inside. And, and we got the slam dunk. <laughs> There's the alley-oop dunk for Cameron, Cameron Clark. Clark. 6'9", freshman center out of Snellville, Georgia, playing for the Sequoia's Giants. The Giants have a group of players. Cougars scour the world for players. And we have uh, Sequoia's two. have a lot of players from outside of the Visalia area. area. Well, it seems like we have two international teams, and we got a... Okay, we got a push foul. Well, the drive for the Cougars right there. That was Aaron Russell Aaron driving Russell. baseline. He drew a foul, and bringing the ball will be Maurice Schneider. He's out of Zurich, Switzerland, sophomore. He gives it to Russell, tries to sneak it inside oh. to Mason Romano, and the ball goes to the Giants coming back down with the ball is Javon Garcia. Now it looks like Russell's playing a matchup. Steal by Drew Ardwin. Out of a task girl. It's got a two on one. Oh, off, off to Russell and oh, heartbreak. Yes, Cougars can't get it in there. Mason Romano had, a, had an offensive rebound, missed it off. Those Drew Ardwin got the ball and missed it bouncing around the rim again. Those are two good looks by the Cougars. Oh, and then and not with the, the drive, no foul. Basket is good. And the uh, Sequoia showing a little Ty pressure. John Burrell. Cougars down 4 nothing, And there's Wani Dassey from deep oh. outside and the three-pointer. Wani's really, he's always been a good shooter outside, but he's changed his defense has stepped up a lot so far this season, and he's been a much more physical player than he was as a freshman. Now this First is a team all-conference, he's a great player, but now he's really added to his game. This is a rarity for a Rusty Blair team. We've got a 2-3 matchup zone. Usually he's tough man-to-man. Outside Javon Garcia again, deep outside and 6 3. In favor of the Giants. College of Sequoias, northeast of Cuesta in Visalia. Are they in the same division? Uh oh, we got a steal. No, so Cameron Clark again with the steal, but then we got a missed shot on the other side. Cuesta looks like they're going to push it. Triple drive by Aaron Russell. He gets into a crowd and is fouled. He should get two shots out of this one. Uh, Sequoia is, is in. Nope, it looks like they're going to inbound it, Pete. Nope, he's at the line. So Aaron Russell will take take shots. 
Uh, Sequoia is, is in Visalia, which is the Northern California region. The state of California, the Com California Community College Association is split into two divisions, North and South. Quest is the northernmost Southern team. So Quest will be in the Southern region in the playoffs, while Sequoia's will be in the Northern region. So this game will not hurt them so much because it's against the other region for both teams. So that's a great game to start off with, just like we just had Hancock play another Southern region team, play a Northern region team to open the season. Well, and Russell uh, sinks both, and that's what you'd expect from a Rusty Blair team, that they can shoot from the outside and like it at the charity stripe. Again, they're in the 2-3 matchup zone. They're trying to get it down to the big man. Oh! I tried for the steal and left the, left the drop step open. And another steal, oh! but this time, nice block for Maurice Schneider. Let's see, this and is a wide open to Wani Dassey. Oh. Mason Romano gets the rebound well, and see, the, fouled. So the Giants really attacking the basket when they get inside with those with their two big men. Yeah, I and think they've uh, got some size out there. Terry Miller at 6'8", 250. They're going to have to ask a little extra from that weak side D to step up. Because he looked like he went for the steal, but left the drop step open. So we've got Moritz Snyder inbounding the ball for Cuesta. Mm -hmm. And it looks I think like... I they're uh, trying to figure out what time should be on the clock right now. But okay. And it looks Cougars like... will have 20 seconds on the shot clock. Sequoias has three fouls already, Cuesta none. Ooh, a little out of control there. Uh-oh. Uh last touch by Sequoia, so it'll be quest the ball on the sideline. It looks like Romano kind of twisted his ankle there. <laughs> and there's one. Okay. Honey Dassey with another three. <laughs> He's got six of the Cougars' eight points from with two shots from downtown. And we're tied up 8-8. Eight, eight. And Dasky got caught. He's trying to come around front a little bit. He's a little bit late. And like I said, they got he's trying to handle on, get a handle on big Terry Miller at 6'8", 250, a sophomore out of Fresno. And he got caught on the wrong side. So that's the first foul on the Cougars. Three so far on the Giants. Oh, looks like they're going to have a three. Oh, it looks Way like they might short. have got a piece Mason of it. Mason Romano with the rebound. Looks like a they're nice pushing. little handoff to Aaron Russell, who's bringing the ball up. Pulls up. Oh, Lefty off the front of the rim. Okay, back to Sequoia. Tipped out by Marie Schneider. Both teams look like they want to uh, pick up the pace here. Oh, Great nice rebound tip. inside. Mason Romano gets up tight. Top. Oh. Gets the ball out to Drew foul. Arduin. And a backcourt foul. Yeah, those are the fouls that drive the coaches Pretty crazy. Pretty unnecessary right there. Yeah. Have to give up a foul 60 feet I, from the basket. You know, were they going to try to trap them there? I yes. didn't see that there was. And right now, Sequoia's already has four fouls. So Cougars halfway to the more over halfway to the bonus already in the first half. Well, if they can drive and draw a few more fouls, yeah. get their shooters up at the strike, that would be that would be good. Oh, there's the. Russell Just dribbles into a crowd. And Sequoia gets the ball back. Foul is on the ground. I think it was on Romano. Another great rebound by Romano. So even though the Sequoia is uh, out height, 
uh, the Cougars. It looks like the Cougars are all over the place when it comes to the comes to the rebounding. Driving dish. Oh, he didn't look. Like oh, there's three. Ronnie they Dassey got three again. That's his third three for Wani Dassey. Cougars up 11 eights. I didn't think he had all of that, but he did. So he's got two threes. I think he's. It counts for he's a very smooth shooter from way out there. Like all the European players are. Well, Wani's actually from Argentina. Oh, he is? I thought he was, that was the Belgian. Nope, you're right, <laughs> Argentina. Okay, all the uh, foreign players. <laughs> and over the back right there, Cameron Clark, who got the first basket of the game with the alley-oop dunk. Well, that's what happens sometimes when you when you have that vertical leap, you tend to, to try to outmuscle players and then uh, get called for the over the back. Kind of feels good when you get that alley oop and you get the crowd into it. And <laughs> you, you crave it. You want I don't know. I, yeah, I, I, it's two points. You know, it's, it, <laughs> so it's two so points with a with an exclamation point. A little yeah. fade away. Oh, and then With a nice Hardaway. steal uh, by Russell again. Okay, he's going to go to the line. But, uh, uh, you know, I used to go to games in South Central L.A. You know, you'd go to, like, um, I think it was Hamilton High where the kids were fast breaking and dunking everywhere, and the only time that the audience gave an ooh was for a block shot. <laughs> guys were doing, like, Baby Jordan stuff. Let's see if Russell's already got two today. And that's his third. We got substitutions coming in. There's like a full line change there for the Koyas. Yeah, I wonder if they have a good bench. You know, it's kind of early in the season, so Pete isn't really sure what's going on in the uh, Cuesta side, but Russell is perfect at the strike. Four for four. Yeah, here, there's a new point. The Cougars are back there. on the bench yet. Ooh, tries for a steal. And leaves a three open. Wide open shot. Oh. It is good. So Jose Coelho comes in. First time he touches the ball, three pointer. And from Harlow. Oh, it looks the like they're giving him a full court press, the Cougars, but they break it very easily. Give it back to Russell at the top of the key. He drives, he dishes it Drew out. Arlen from outside. Long. Oh. Gets oh. the rebound. Where's it going to go? Uh, oh, that. Uh, that looked like I just a bad knocked call. out of bounds. The last touch by last touch by the Cougars. They say I don't know. It looked Aaron, like uh, looks like Aaron Russell must have got a tip of it and knocked it out of his. Yeah, you notice that ref was not in a great position to get that call though. I'm just saying. My dry cleaner is a ref, so you know I think I have a little. So is mine. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we, we but did you see the day. lob pass? That was a dangerous lob pass. A dangerous pass to Russell too on the wing. And they're doing a switch, so Russell drives the baseline, he switches in, he comes in for the shot, a little out of control. <laughs> and maybe a lot of he out of He got control. a little bit too deep there, wasn't sure where to but go. But now they're going to give uh, hope for the foul. Off the end, they'll see if, all right. So as you can see, both teams are pushing it up the court. They're satisfied with the pace. We'll see how much longer the Cougars, like, like we said, Sequoia has already gone to the bench for a full switch. Cougars Romano haven't done does. that yet, and the last two shots they've had been off target, so we'll see if they're getting a little, little fatigued. We'll see if Romano was the last shot. The it did the fade away and it bricked it. Oh, and they pass inside. Oh, that was a really bad pass, almost right to the Cougar. <laughs> Romano should have had that I think one. that was almost too nice a pass for Romano. Was it quite ready? <laughs> really? Is that for me? <laughs> <laughs> and that slipped through his face. Okay. Fingers. Yeah. So the Giants here have a chance to tie it up. That's a 13-11. Two minutes oh, left in the. Great steal by, by Russell picks it up. Romano Romano off to Russell. Russell. Arduin makes the drive have with it. the oh. left. Knocked out of bounds, no call. And it looks like the Sequoias are, are content to push. Great job right there about Mumari Nesbitt. And Nesmith makes the two. Made a smart move oh. right there. Pulled up for the easy two rather than trying to force it into the basket. Well, and Cougars getting a little slop, sloppy right there on that basket. Finally, the they press. Have no pays defense off. right there. They 
unforced turnover right there. Yeah. Well, finally the press kind of rattled them, and they, so they took the, the press off. They didn't know what to do. <laughs> so thirteen, thirteen. It's Coyes for a chance to get their first lead since the first opening basket. Okay. Quest is still in their matchup zone. It's Coyes passing on the perimeter. Oh, drives and then it's a turnover. Yeah, forced pass right there. Nice heads up play by Drew Ardo oh, with the steal. Romano saw Mason a lot Romano of real estate. Through. Oh. oh, offensive foul. Romano. I don't know, looked a little ticky tack to me. Yeah, it's kind of a tough call right there when the guy's already given up the ball. <laughs> <laughs> but it happens. Romano's had a great, great start. His first game over 20 points. Lead the team. Last game he only had 10 points, but also had eight rebounds and eight assists. Wow. Kind of has a lot of talent, things he can do for the team. So the Cougars don't want him in foul trouble for sure. Oh, they and that is a three. big three right there by Omari Nesbitt. Making a big difference in the game so far. Yeah, I think he's just their leading scorer. Oh, another shot from outside. Ooh. Wani Dassey, that's his fourth three of the game. They're going to figure that out sooner or later. <laughs> <laughs> well, but he didn't even wait to be open on that one. <laughs> Once he pointed his feet at the basket, that's, he was going to go. And he's a lefty too, right? Yeah. Why does it always oh, look like no. lefties have box a, out, box out. Have a throw better, they shoot better, just look smoother somehow from a left-hander, even though it's... Well, there, I, <laughs> oh, he stepped out of bounds. Um, the revving up right there, Jose Coelho stepped on the green and out of bounds. So Cougars get well, an easy turnover back. I, you know, I know from experience, lefties are a little tougher to read on defenses. Rusty Blair's playing him on the on the left side of the court. Okay, so Russell has it at the top of the key. Cougars kind of and resetting it looks like, here. Yeah, it looks like they're. Let's slow it down a little bit. Rua Manya's in there. What? Sophomore from oh, Belgium. Nice. And again, another left-hander right there. I don't think they were expecting yep. him to get, get in there, but nice move right jump there. Hook. Oh, but then he's a little slow on defense and leaves the baseline open for, oh, in and out, hard and break. And picks it up. <laughs> and Dassey gets out of the, out of the trap. Oh, nice wide again. open shot. Oh. What well, a nice well, cut. Well, Manya time right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can say so that again. As we talked about the Cougars have so slowed down a little. And the, the Giants already done a line change, so Cougars just bring in Manya. They just needed one guy to change the shift, and he's taken over. So he's in the yo-yo right now. going to play a little bit at the top point and go all the way back up and down. So there he goes. He goes down in the post. I tell you, the you're going to see Rue running up and down the court right now on defense. Oh, the point. there we go. And a legal screen. And that was again a Manya on, that, on the defense. Right, but that is Samuel Bazunga. Well, I hope he scores a lot. That's going to be fun to say when Bazunga scores. I hope but he gets some But that time it was dunks. just Bazunga on the, on the foul. He kind of backed his man down and kind of controlled him. And so it was a moving screen and the ball goes to the Cougars. Uh, it looks like uh, they got a 1-4 offense set up here. Get it to Russell. He's got a lane. Oh, he kept it a fake, but he's out of control again. Yeah, gets, got stripped right there by Cameron Clark. Ball out of bounds, but he had the lane. He did have the lane. Just quick hands by Cameron Clark. And, and he better turn around on defense. Yeah, turn over. Let's see. So the Cougars up by 4, 20-16. Yeah, looks like they're trying to set up their big man the down low. Ooh, the Cougars got a piece of that one. And they're frustrating them. They're switching a lot of defenders on their, on their big man down low. Ooh, silenced with the there three. Alex, Alex Argander. Well, now they're doing the half court trap. Now let's see. They're all over Wani Dassey right there. Danny Dassey fought his way through. And they didn't let go. So <laughs> nice foul right there for him. And that's gonna get him Looks to the like line. It, yeah, are we in the yeah, because we're Cougars in the bonus. are in the bonus. So we'd be shooting one on one. Sequoia's been very physical so far. As you can tell by the eight fouls to three difference between the Cougars 
and the Giants. Uh, you know, we call that slap happy, I think. But they are, they're being, they're being aggressive to the ball. Dassey sinks the first. Danny, you can give him his lower. There you go. Now you lose it. And Jesse gets them both. Nice. Cougars 22 19. Okay, the Sequoias are bringing Javon it. Javon Garcia brings the ball up. And they're the running a high post. Jean Burrell. Nice Burrell drive. through the lane. It uh, looks like they Cougars fouled him. Cougars got reaching there. Yeah, they fouled him on the on the dribble. So, on the floor. Squares takes it out of bounds. Fourth foul on the Cougars. Bonus is at seven. Double bonus at ten. Oh, Giants have eight fouls already. It. Another nice dribble drive. Hey, he lost control of it. I got to see it, but he went right into the crowd. There you go. Here you Amanya. go. Amanya. From Shawa, oh, Belgium. <laughs> Little fade away. <laughs> he wanted that. He wanted those points. And now it's back and to the Cougars. That, that is not the shot that Coach wanted no. right there. But luckily, the, the, hey, but the Giants I, rebounded out of bounds. And I, so I see back. a remarkably calm Rusty Blair <laughs> on that play. Because you had Amanya taking on their tallest player, I think. <laughs> it wasn't the matchup that they wanted. Uh, the Amanya yeah. brings it back in again. Oh, the left. He comes Just to the left not hand. enough oomph on it. Yep. Yeah, the Cougars have missed, I don't know, three or four layups. Where the Sequoias are comfortable shooting outside, but that one missed. The Cougars do that, that, that zone has made it tough. There's Dassey from outside. Yes, Long him. rebound. And that's going to go back Javon Garcia, and he's going to bring it all the way up. Coast to coast, Javon Garcia off the glass for two. That makes it a one-point game, 22-21 Cuesta. That was a dangerous pass. Cougars have not subbed much this this half. We're 13 minutes in. No, we had Amanya. And Amanya's basically been the only person on, on off the bench today. The Giants have done a full line change at least once. Dassey's inside. Amanya dribble drive, and he gets caught for the travel. Oh. Hey, Manya looks like he was limping a little bit there. The assistant coach Ralph Gordon imploring him to shoot it. Or did he want him to stop and uh, pop? Yeah, kind of that jump stop and shoot rather than trying. He kind of got caught halfway in between. Okay, so the Manya dribble drive. Oh, no, nice one. shot off the glass. Good by John Burrell. And Cougars back the other way. Aaron Russell. <sighs> With nobody under the basket. Long. Wow, they're, they launch it from outside. And, and Cougars going to call a quick timeout here with six minutes left. That causes uh, Rusty Blair to call a timeout. Deservedly so. So you were telling me before the game we have uh, uh, Rusty Blair's uh, assistant coach, Ralph Gordon. Yep. And can you tell us a little bit about uh, their history together? Well, Ralph, Ralph was the assistant for Rusty back in the mid-90s when the Cougars had those, those couple of big runs into the playoffs, went to the state finals in 97. Uh, and then Ralph, after, after a couple of years, he took over and went down to Hallen Hancock mm -hmm. and spent nine years coaching down there. So the two of them were down competing against each other. Yeah, they, that's the cross-county cross rivalry. That's cross-county rival. So he, but he left. Left Cuesta and went to the rival. Uh, <laughs> it made for some exciting uh, basketball. They are two different styles, and when they were together, they were amazing. So it was, it was really hard. Everybody loves Ralph, and to see him come back up wearing the blue and gold of, of Alan Hancock was always tough. And we're really glad to have Ralph back because when he and Rusty are together, they make a great pair. They're kind of very different personalities. Rusty's very serious. Ralph can goof around a lot, but. Russ, Ralph is also going to be on your butt in a different way th than Rusty is. Well, you told that me. You're going to see these, these kids are going to grow and they're going to mature into fantastic players because mm -hmm. they kind of have these 
two models of, of basketball that really kind of work together. The yin and yang, yeah, perhaps. Yeah, it's a different uh, style. Uh, you know, they, they both get their message across, but they have, have that having coming from two different angles. Ralph's kind of going to josh around with you and, and and get you going and and kind of teach you in a different way. While Rusty's just going to make sure you. Rusty's a basketball purist. He loves basketball. Well, and he, you, you offend him when you play bad basketball. Really? I, I, yes. I don't want to offend Rusty. Want, you don't want to offend Rusty. Okay. So to have those two guys together is great. I, Wait, I'm really excited. You also about told me that uh, when Ralph was at Hancock, that uh, what was it? Seven out of the ten uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, state. <laughs> They, the they, they were winning the conference championships. championships. Uh, there was either one or the other one. They're conference championship they, either went through Hancock, of the year or went through Blair or Gordon. Yeah. So the yin and the they, yang. They but were now the we two, got best, on Quest, two best coaches in the conference, and now they're the gang's all back together again. Oh, he steps so. back to Drew Arlen. Oh, did he get the three? It's two. No, he gave him the but long that was a pretty two. two. Nice step back, crossover step back, with the clock so. counting down. So you got to love, love this. You got. Now it's only a two-point deficit for Cuesta. And they're still in the matchup zone. You know, they haven't been able to get it down to their big man, Cameron Clark. Great block by Maurice Snyder. Nice touch pass. Oh, and three-pointer is good. Nice shot. The uh, Sequoias Garcia. have not cooled down from outside the paint. That's usually Cuesta's game, the long ball. That many teams can answer the Cougars' deep sh deep threat, shot for shot. So far, Sequoias has done that. Well, because it looks like the Cougars really want to want to drive, and then stop and pop. Oh, off balance! Got to get inside the line, but Drew Ardwin. Drew is the token local boy, Tascadero Greyhound. And what I've noticed here is that the Sequoias like to do this cross-court pass that it should be dangerous, but instead he feeds inside with the left hand, finishes yeah. uh, Tyson Burrell. Burrell. Yep. Nice. So having those, like we talked about, the 6'10", 6'8", 6'9", a little bit of a size advantage here for Sequoias. So Cougars can't leave them too oh. far open. And in uh -oh. and out on Wani Dassey. Wani Dassey came down a little funny. Yep. He's, he's got a little hitch on his, in his giddy up coming back. I think Blair's got to go to the bench, got to get a and timeout. Yeah, we got an injury. We have an injury timeout. That's not going to be on Blair. But Dassey come, came down wrong. I don't know if he came down somebody's foot, but he's definitely in some discomfort. I don't even see the trainer's table here. Where the is trainer's it? table is right behind Wani. Wani's 6 6. He'll, he's blocking it out a little bit, but it's right behind him. Over by the water fountain across court, behind the Cougars bench. Is he just they, walking it off? I think they're going to let him walk it off. And there, and there's a foul right oh. there. <laughs> and a takedown for Alex Gander. <laughs> he ran right through Marie Snyder, trying to steal the ball. Well, their back court, their back court is quick. And that's going to slow down the game a little bit right now as Maritz gets two shots. And hopefully he'll nine get his fouls. Lower. You can see the, uh, how aggressive Sequoias is. I mean, their nine, nine fouls. fouls is with four minutes left. The so Cougars will be in double bonus pretty soon. So are we playing quarters or are we playing halves tonight? We halves. We, we got halves? Night. Okay. It's every, basketball is, Cause I got is a lot all, of, it's all over the place. Game. I got a lot of volunteers who want to leave early. So. <laughs> yeah. Women's game is t four 10 minutes quarters now, and okay. the men's are 20 minute halves. So it's, and we're, Snyder stinks them both. Nice. Six and both, but we're still down by five. And it's because of the, their shooting, quarter shooting beyond the arc. Another cross court pass. Another cross court pass. Cuesta should get on that. And it's a rainbow three pointer right there by Tyree Gill. His first basket of the night. Yeah, you know, the Sequoias have their scoring spread out all over the roster, where Cuesta's got their, their couple of go-to guys. And one of them has a, is limping. Oh, nice down low. Oh! <laughs> Beautiful pass. A remarkable shot there by Marie Schneider right there. 
That's what you get when Switzerland and Belgium work together. Drive and dish. So four they're point game. Do, they're gonna do another cross court pass here. Nope. Whoa, the something's gotta happen. That's gonna be a travel right there. there. <laughs> Dijon yeah. Burrell got, got inside, but he got kind of got stuffed when he was trying to put the ball back down. Kind of looked more like gymnastics almost, <laughs> you know? And again, Sequoia show pressure, and they back off of it. So just under three minutes left in this first half. Yeah, let's see if the Cougars can uh, put together a run with the pretty much. Whoa, whoa, a little out of control. Another driving dish. Stop and pop. Nope. After his first two baskets, he's been he's been doing the bricks. The Cougars have gone back to the bench. Javon Jordan is in there now. Replacing Aaron Russell. Amani, I don't think, wants to brick another. Yes, he does. Oh, there we go. Nice block. They've kind of, it seems like they've kind of figured out Amanya at this point. And the Cougars bring in Kobe Pearson. Kobe's the Australian out of Melbourne. All conference selection last year. He hasn't heated up like he did last year, but he took a little while last year as well. But Kobe, once we got into conference play, was one of the best three pointers well, shooters there we in the go. state. Uh, and Reese Snyder way point. long in his three opt opportunity. Another alley oop. And another alley oop, no good. Getting a little sloppy. Oh. Snyder loses it. Gets it back. Devon Jordan, his first shot of the night. Well, we'll see what Rusty Blair and Ralph Gordon can cook up after half. Oh, that looked like a travel. Yeah, Sequoia's yeah, a foul on the ground. Let's we'll see what this call is here. I don't know. It looked I didn't see where, what the foul is he saw. It looks like it's on Dossi. So the foul in course is Juani Dossi apparently. What was the foul? Because I didn't Might see anybody around when the ball was in the air or something Maybe along those lines. Bad language? Which language? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bad French. Oh. Goes to dunk. Kobe but Pearson oh, takes nice it down to Javon Jordan. Oh, but a little off the mark. And Kobe called for the travel right there. I think Kobe is a big long range threat for the Cougars last year, all conference player. Hasn't quite found a stride yet this, some, this season. And you can tell right there, he, he's kind of torn between do I pull up right here or do I drive it? Yeah. And he got caught with the travel. All right, overthought it. Well, let's see if the Cougars can. Sometimes that's the tough thing about coming to the game off the bench. You got to be, you know, ready to go as you come in. With oh, they, with all those three pointers that the Sequoias are are launching here and making, you'd think Rusty Blair would call off the matchup zone and go man to man, but he hasn't done that yet. There's another cross court pass, but drive drives and makes it off the glass. Nice for Burrell. Freshman Hayden stats came in there, tried to get get the uh, charge, but he was already in the circle, so just an easy basket for Sequoias. Uh, in the last minute here, at Cuesta, Jordan. Jordan drives, finds Marie Schneider. Ball knocked out of bounds. So Arlo and Schneider, the only two starters remaining on the floor for the Cougars. Shot clock Cougars winding down. down. Shot clock. Oh. And Cougars don't make it. Good pressure defense by Sequoias. Psychologically, you know, that's got to be a tough one. I mean, especially when the crowd is chanting the, the clock. I think we, think we even heard that. That's good pressure defense all the way around. Sequoia's. No, he got stuck. Lift, he lifted up his dribble and got stuck. We got 22 seconds left on the clock. Don't lose your dribble, son.
Uh, so it looks, like, it looks like we're starting the half over again. We've got 22 minutes and 20 seconds to play. Oh, is that what it was? <laughs> okay. Slide do over. Yeah, how did that happen? But anyways, you've run the clock. It's not the most intuitive thing it's to program. A, yeah, it's a, it's stressful. It's a stressful situation. You're always if you if you start the clock a little early, every coach every everybody's pissed. If you start yeah. it too late, everybody's pissed. If you most, start it on time, nobody notices. <laughs> You're really on an island there. Okay, it looks like we're back to 22.2 seconds. Sequoias so bring Sequoia's the ball up. Questas look. Oh, did they get a timeout? They just brought it up to the front court so they could get a timeout. So they're going to a 30-second timeout trying to run a 17-second play. While they're ahead by six points at the yeah. half. Yeah. Hmm. So they they don't want to give the Cougars a chance to sneak back and get another two or three. They're going to make sure they have at least a six coming in. Oh, okay. Half. Yeah, okay. So well, but I thought that would be, you know, obvious. Yeah. Well, you have 17 seconds, and yeah. then how much on the shot clock? I guess it'll be zero. Yeah. And if they wanted to, they could have just played it up. But I think they want to see if they can bump that up a little bit, eight or nine. Now, you mentioned that uh, Ralph Gordon owns a uh, art gallery, downtown Morro Bay. No, San Luis Obispo, on oh, High Garris Street. On High Garris Street. So if yeah. you want to go for art, go to the Just Looking Gallery downtown. The Just Looking Gallery downtown but, for all your but, art. But and go buy something. Art. Don't just look. <laughs> well, wait a second. The title is Just Look, right? Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open an art gallery called Out of Your Price Range. How's that? <laughs> Well, I'll have to ask Ralph if uh, owning an art gallery is, is as easy as it looks. <laughs> okay, let's see how the scores work out in the last 18 seconds here. And I would imagine that the point guard would just dribble it up uh, above the five-second yeah, mark. I just think, yeah, about five-second mark, you'll see a lot of move, movement here. Then we got a screen up high, and then he drives. And he, whoa, well, that's he good. Sinks it. Now, this that's is where Rusty work. might want to put a, pull a timeout, but instead... It looked like his. Uh, I don't think Rusty wanted to waste the time out there. The two seconds left, but they don't carry over to the half, do they? Yes, they do. Oh, geez, <laughs> shows, shows you how long I've been since <laughs> since I've been coaching. Well, Pete, what's your uh, evaluation of the first half? Well, Sequoia is, uh, you know, for the team ranked number two in the region. It's good. Well, I think. <laughs> what do you think about that? Well, I think. <laughs> I, I think don't Quest think is pretty lucky. I think Press Quest <laughs> is pretty lucky that, um, or not lucky, but their their collapsing D kept the Sequoia's big men out of the paint, but they answered with uh, the long ball and yep. behind the three, and they proved that these guys can shoot and they can play the inside game. Yep. And then what's odd to me is that uh, it looks like the Quest of Cougars are kind of content with uh, taking the ball one on one and driving. Yeah, because that was kind of a surprise. I, uh, I expected a little bit more ball movement uh, around the around the perimeter for the Cougars. I believe they were playing shot. mostly man, and so I didn't see a lot yeah. of screens, yeah. didn't see a lot of screen aways and things like that. So you think, and that's uncommon for a Rusty Blair team. But it, I guess it's a Rusty Blair and Ralph Gordon team. No. <laughs> so, well. though we did see some excitement, you know, when Amanya came in, and he made his first two baskets. It was he got pretty exciting. Yeah, he came in there. He, he really kind of caught caught the Sequoias off balance. Uh, Sequoias figured out he was left-handed and started playing him correctly. <laughs> well, and then uh, Dossi you know, is I believe is the high scorer because doesn't he have four threes? He I has believe? four threes already. We'll so have to check with Rusty's wife. That's our halftime analysis here uh, at in San Luis Obispo at Quest at the Gil Stork Gym. I'm uh, John Arnold. This is Pete Schuler. We'll be back with more second half action. Uh, the Quest of Cougars, 30. Uh, the College of the Sequoias, 38. Hey, and we're back. Quest of College, San Luis Obispo. Uh, we got the uh, College of the Sequoias uh, playing the Quest of Cougars in the, the Hinson Tire. Is it the 53rd? How come I've never been here? Where have I been the other 
52. Well, I think the first 45 was the uh, Mid-State Bank Tournament. And oh, okay. Mid-State Bank has gone through a couple of name changes and not currently a uh, tournament sponsor. Okay. Hinton's Tire Pros in Morro Bay, been there since 1954, have been the uh, sponsors for the last few years. And if you want Continentals or General Tire, you go to Henson's. <laughs> Are they, uh, that's the one on Quintana, right? It's on Quintana Road. I get my tires done there. So I get my, well, because it's, what, can we say it's the only game in town? <laughs> <laughs> Once Pete's Auto went out of business, so. Never, uh, never mind, but we're going to get back with the action here. <laughs> no, I did not own an auto spot, so don't worry about it. That was no offense to not taking it. Okay. <laughs> so earlier game today, the Gavlin Rams, Allen Hancock Bulldogs, 70-69 game for Gavlin. And this game's shaping up to be just as close. 38-30 after half to, after the first half. Sequoia's over the Cougars. Drew Arduin out around the arc. Mason Romano's back in. Arduin dribble drive, kicks it back out to Schneider for a three. Oh, yeah, that's real good. Sequoia's also has its starting group back in. They seem to have a nice line shift that made it tough on the Cougars. Oh, they had a great matchup there. With their with their big man at six nine uh, against our yeah Cameron Clark already I mean he started the game with that alley oop dunk right so we know he's he's got to get up there to the rim again that was another cross court pass so the Cougars should nail down those and get a couple of so turnovers leaning against okay. it so now they have Romano down low oh, just beats the shot clock long rebound. Sequoia's get it, pump fake, pump fake. Oh, another offensive and rebound. The rebound. And, and then a drive. Uh, a little out of control there. But another offensive rebound. Cougar's so just not even able to get the board. And that time knocked out of bounds by Cameron Clark. But they do get the out of bounds play. Well, but they didn't get any back. It looks like they were padding their stats there a little bit on the <laughs> offensive rebound side. Not their shooting percentage, but the <laughs> yeah, rebounds. Shooting percentage is going down. <laughs> <laughs> but offensive rebounds there. Well, but. Arduin pulls up. Oh, and that looks sweet oh, from good. the release. And it looked like he even got tapped on the elbow on that one. Cougars waste no time. Quick pick by Dassey, and that opened up Arduin for a three. Oh, but look, it's and way Cameron unbalanced. Clark. Too many people yeah. up top, and it's an easy almost layup for Clark. Yeah, Cougars got caught napping there, and I don't think they can afford to trade baskets with the Sequoias uh, at this point. Seven point and lead. Russell dribble drive. Picks it back out to Mason Romano. Romano to Dassey. Dassey puts it into Snyder. He's got a mismatch. So he goes to the fadeaway, but Ooh. it's good. Off balance fadeaway <laughs> goes down. Look at all the spin. He had on that about ball. a five Little rotation. <laughs> yep. Advantage over Bur over Burrell. No, they got the matchup but he, that they wanted. But that fadeaway was smooth. <laughs> and then again. Oh, he misses Clark. the dunk and they a had block. A great block by Mason Romano. A little over eager by Cameron Clark in the dunk, and then a nice swat by Mason Romano, block shot. Oh, he should have shot that. Oh, it looks like it's ooh, right in the net. And a sweet shot from the corner there. Tyree Gill, there's uh, Sequoia's coming out hot still from beyond the arc. Cougars have a lot of good shooters and Sequoia's can match them shot for shot from beyond the arc. It's gonna be a tough day. And it's great dish off. Reese oh. Snyder had nowhere to go though. But he got his own rebound. Driving into traffic. That's more Snyder's spot right there from three, and it's good. One thing you can say, the Cougars can shoot. Well, part if of you it leave, leave almost anybody on this team open, it's gonna cost you three points. 
Finally, a miss from the Sequoias, and it's a chance for the Cougars Here's to run. Russell. We got He's a one on one. Oh, but he goes for the foul and almost hits our cameraman, Max. Probably a smart, <laughs> smart move by Ty John Bur and Max, Burrell. Max deflected that ball he from got, the camera. He got a. Aaron Russell before he went up in the air. Well, I guess he got him on the way up, so it will be two shots. I thought he got him before that, and it's just an out of bounds and a foul. But Russell will be shooting two. And there goes Max. Russell misses the first. I think Russell was just playing from the strike today. Does he have a field goal? I don't think so. I think he'd been, I got one, two, three, four, five, six points from the strike. No, they left him wide open. Yeah, too easy. That was just too easy there. And then Clark. Rusty yeah. calls a timeout, yeah. a well-deserved timeout. Yeah. yeah, I think if you're going to leave the big man open underneath the basket, uh, then that, yeah, you might need a little talking too. I don't know what where they're kind of losing him on the shifts, but in the first half they were really aware of of wherever Clark was on the on the well, court. Clark came open that game with a big dunk, and that was after that they kind of clamped down on him. They've been spreading the. As the Sequoia has been taking some more outside shots, the Cougars defense has been spreading out. Well, they've, they've been switching on him all the time, and yeah. that's been keeping him off his game. Um, and they've been pushing him off, off the box. But, uh, <laughs> but in this half, it seems like he's just under the basket with nobody around him. So let's see if the Cougars can clamp down now. I, well, and part of that is probably because of the Sequoia's uh, um, excellent uh, outside shooting. Yeah. So they're spreading the defense too thin and Clark's getting open. Well, they're a complete team and they're a good challenge for the Cougars. No, yeah, no, this is a this is a good test for the Cougars early in the season. Well, let's see if uh, Rusty Blair can pull a rabbit out of his hat in this half. There There's you go. Romano. Oh, <laughs> and no foul. Oh. <laughs> that was a, a big foul. Well, if you're yeah, going to foul, yeah. you know you don't get. Yeah, that, that, you don't get points knocked off for being polite. That's an easy two points for for Marie Schneider. Now he's got to earn them from the stri charity stripe here. So Marie Schneider's. I mean, he, he he came down hard on on Schneider, but Schneider's going to. No, no, that was a get himself together and get a couple of ba points back, on the free throws. First one's nothing but net. Make sure. Uh, that's how you get back at Clark for that tough foul. Make both your free throws. And he does. Nothing but net again. I think after Dossie got cold, I think Snyder's our, our high scorer for Cuesta. Yeah, and if somebody starts missing for Cuesta, they'll find the next guy. They are an excellent shooting team from the outside. There's going to be another cross court pass. No? There is wide open or at least mismatched. Yeah. Slow rotation there, and Clark is losing. Got a getting his opportunities inside. Cougars are denying the three, but making it easy for Clark to get a bunch of baskets. Russell for three. And nobody there to rebound for the Cougars. They are back on defense. Yep. And Good ball's call. back to Cuesta. A nice defense there by Aaron Russell. He came back, got a piece of the ball, knocked it off the, off the Sequoias. Cuesta gets the turnover. Russell bringing the ball up. Six point game now in favor of the Sequoias. Romano gets up top, takes and it. He gets through. Oh, oh. He, had a, he had an open on the on the left side, but tried to do that. Went for the degree of difficulty there. Right. <laughs> and then goes, oh. Great stuff by Schneider. Let's see if he can keep it. Oh. And we have a giant down. As big Terry Miller seems to be okay. Well, I hope he doesn't dent this brand new.
Cougar parquet floor. Didn't we get a new floor here in the gym before COVID? Yep, yep. No more dead spots. <laughs> Another tr oh. acrobatic try. I don't know. That looked pretty ticky tack. That there. was a nice shot block by Mason Romano. I, I, that's that's a tough goal right there. That's a tough one to get hung on you. Well, you know a lot. You know a lot of the games is playing the refs. Some yeah. of the refs play it very Yvonne tight. Garcia Some pulled it, it, it back down. Really he loose. did everything and just. Yeah, well, that's a tough call to take. So Garcia, Javon Garcia at the line. Now in this foul on Cuesta's Mason Romano, and that's it. Garcia makes his first. Yep. Can't you know in this league, can't you like heckle the free throw shooters, or do you have to be no, quiet? No, no, no. Can we get a technical? We yeah, did oh that? yeah. Okay. Garcia. Because it was it was it was Garcia eerily quiet. Oh, the, the nope. fans! The fans! Yeah, the fans can make a lot more noise. Oh yeah. Well, oh yeah. Yeah. Why aren't we considered fans? And put right here. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Okay, Romano up top, he wants to drive, he does drive, he bounces it off, and out of bounds out of the quest of Cougars. Clark. Now a seven Clark, six nine got a hand on that one. Oh, dry, oh give yeah. and go is picked up. Great defense right there, Take on Burrell. Burrell sniffed that one out, got the steal. And then did great spin move down there. That was a little, little bit forced there by Tyree Gill. Oh, and, then and a, steal by a long Barella skip again. pass by Mason Romano. And Romano oh, steals it right back. And we got numbers. This time another skip pass. This time it's. Oh, but then and challenged. Snyder cannot finish. Challenged by Clark. Uh oh, I lost my audio. Oh, yep, no, it's back. And we're back. <laughs> oh. Uh. Baseline open. I think that was Romano's responsibility because see he, he's been a little backdoor cut there by Cam Car Cameron Clark. Cameron right. Clark is not taking the shot from outside of two feet. <laughs> no, he hasn't. <laughs> he's having a nice night. Well, he doesn't need to. When you're six nine and you got a wingspan that probably makes you like seven four. Uh, Cougars got a two on two, and it looks like we're going to get forced in, but uh, but the basket yeah, rolls. Russell makes it all the way down. And it's back to an eight point game. Another four shot by the Sequoias in traffic. A good defense there. Great defensive position by Wani Dassey and a rebound for him. And Aaron Russell for three. Oh, and he gets there it. we go. He it. And we're back to a five point game 51 46 with 12 minutes, just over 12 minutes to play. Great shot by Aaron Russell from the corner. Aaron Russell bringing the ball up, gets the rebound. Ar Drew Arden, we can't get a handle of it, and he loses the ball right there. Yeah, he had Dossie on, on the wing right there. Oh, another foe. Oh, that could have been goaltending. Uh, oh, it looks like they're going to platoon an, another group of subs in. So another the line shift, and they're gonna, at least Cameron Clark's going to be out for a bit. Cameron Clark's been tough on the Cougars. He, he's just lurking behind the basket and really finding and, the vulnerable spot in their zone. Well, in in this half, yeah, he seems to be open for a lion share of the time. Yeah, and once he gets the ball, he's tough. <laughs> he's six nine long. He's, uh, I, I, lo I love the comparison, but I love the. Kevin McHale's long arms, well, it's where he's, he's doesn't have to do much to get a basket. We call that, that's a short trip to the basket. Yeah. When he gets the ball, it's a short trip to the basket, so. Cougars seem a little tired, though. <coughs> <coughs> they don't seem to be as aggressive on covering the low man in the post, but I guess maybe they're thinking, hey, it's better to have them have shooting deuces instead of threes because they've been hot at the beyond the arc. Well, uh, the Cougars <laughs> have five, five guys who can score out there. They don't have a, a, a real post player down there in the game right now. No, oh, the Cougars they don't. got, got yeah, more, more like two guards and three small forwards. And then and Aaron Russell forces his way forces into the lane. The did, he, did he get the call? He's going to get two shots. All right. Tell Max to get under the basket because the guy's got two shots coming. Yeah. 
Yeah, Cougars have been pushing the ball. Oh, all game heartbreak. Long. And Russell's been living at the stripe. I, th I think it's because of the minutes, because he played nearly legs. the whole first half, right? Well, you gotta make sure you get those legs into it. Oh, did he? He gets three. Was it intentional? Is there a line violation? Not exactly sure what happened there. I don't either. Oh yeah, I think it was a line violation. Let's see. And he sinks it. Well, he doesn't. U do you notice he doesn't use his legs when he shoots his free throw? He just spins it off his fingers. It looks like Clark is out. Well, and then they have some other tree. And another good outside shooter. Eight outside shot right there. Alex Argander, that's his second three. And then they're back to the uh, trap. Uh-oh, what was that? Argander, a little push from behind. Well, I can see why they don't start him, because he picked up two fouls really fast the last time they put him in. Now he's got one now. They did hit a three. Yeah, well, you, well, <laughs> well, I've had that where you have a really good offensive player and they immediately pick up three fouls. And <laughs> then they ask you, why didn't you play? <laughs> <laughs> he steps Great back. Great pick by, by Mason Romano. Oh. And it opens up Aaron Russell for a three. So it's a six-point game still. Six-point game is still doable. Hanging in there. We got 11 uh, and, and some change on the clock, but <laughs> the Cougars, oh, how is that not a... Yeah, and there is Offensive the charge foul. right there. So Jose Quello saw a space right there. Well, but and that Wani was caused. And Wani Dassey stepped into it, and was, he ran right over Wani. That was caused by the Cougars' breakdown in defense. He saw nothing but open yeah. space to the basket, and then somebody stepped in front. I'll, I'll tell you, I, I really think I've only gotten to watch Cougars play a couple games and yeah. so far this season, but Wani's been a key to their defense right now. What his job is a lot of times is to move up and down the top to the bottom of the key. When that ball got out there, he got it in his position. Okay. And did a great job on defense right there. So. Well, I mean, that's one of the hardest things in the game is to is to get the charge, to take the charge and get get it. Okay. Certain type of person, yeah, you got to really want to get the charge. Can't, can't have those feet, feet shuffling. You gotta be ready to take take a little punishment for the team there. And Russell, that looks good. No. Just off the front of the rim. A great pick. Got wide open. Just a little short. Well, nice rotation uh, for the Sequoia. The ball movement is excellent. And they go down low, boom. Yep. In double coverage. Right there, nice. Bazunga. All right, we got Bazunga. And he just powered his way in there. He just, uh, he was covered. He was double covered. They had two guys on him, and he still went for the shot. Uh-oh, let's see what we got That's here. The Cougar. So Aaron Russell got thrown to the floor. By 22, by Clark. Oh no, he's calling Rust. Uh, Rusty's calling the play. I thought they were saying it was on 22, wasn't on there. Yeah, Clark's out of Cameron Clark's out of the game. We got to set a pit pick for him. Oh, did he? No. That was a nice shot. Off the rim. Oh, great box out. And it's an, um, and another Bazunga. <laughs> Bazunga again. Bazunga the, from so the Parisian forward. From Paris, France. Oh, the, try the alley oop right there. Just let you get it, but a good clutch Dassey shot. From the corner. Good clutch shot from Dassey. A little off balance, but he still nailed it. The Cougars down by seven. Nine to play. Well, they're we're in the fourth quarter. 
when they even though we only play half. They're, 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 they're keeping it down to single digits. Uh, okay, it until now. <laughs> <laughs> so another big three by our gander. You can see why Modesto boy our gander. Sequoia is, makes it tough because you got to spread their offense. So they got uh -oh. some great shooters. And this slips out of Dash's hand and called a full time out there by Questus. Well, Blair. you know, he tried to one hand it around the defense and he lost it. Yeah. That was a little ill advised. And, then, you know, that's what happens in mistakes in judgment when you start to get tired out there. And that's what it looks like is what's happening for the Cougars. They look a lot more fatigued than the College of the Sequoias. The Sequoias have got a lot of movement on offense, got a lot of movement on defense. Right. That, that, they're playing that man defense that's getting right right on everybody. Mm -hmm. And so the Cougars have been working a lot harder on both ends of the court. And they're and not they subbing. And they much. haven't subbed as, as much as the uh, Giants have so far. So. Yeah, you're absolutely I mean, right. We, we've seen Devon Jordan had a short spell. Hayden Stats had a short spell. Right. Rule Banya came in and had, had some nice things. Kobe Pearson was in for a minute. So they haven't gone too far, too deep into the bench. That's only three, four players. So everybody's been... You know, the Cougars try and know this is a tough game. You know, the Sequoias was at the state tournament last year. Right. 27-5 and five record. And uh, ranked number two right now. So okay. Well, they're ranked number two for a reason. So well, this I is a good test for the lo Cougars. Looks like Blair's keeping the bench a little bit short. But he's talking about blocking out and closing out out there. You can see, see it's demonstrably saying, get up there and hit <laughs> their faces there. So, you know, Rusty Blair knows his stuff. Here's a guy who averaged 37 points a game during during his during one one season during his career in Europe. 37 points a game. <laughs> 27 for his career. So he's he knows about scoring. He knows this game inside out. He's he's here at his uh, 31st year at Cuesta. 31st year. At 31st Cuesta. year. Sequoias again, starting starting out fresh. Good ball rotation, the open man. Oh, air ball. And it, it was, uh, looks like a foul on Russell. No? No foul They're going on the other side. Russell's favor. I don't know, he said he, he, got he pointed shoved. to the bench and gave five, so. Are we in the bonus? So no. that was our gander tangling up with so it's the opposite number five. Okay. So it'll be one on one for Russell. But are we in the bonus? Yes. Seven seven is one on one, and if you get to ten fouls, then you get two shots automatically. Nice. And Russell makes the front end. Again, I think Russell's only field goal was a three-pointer. All the rest he's got at the stripe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Russell's so he's in double figures. Prince George, Maryland. And another nice one. It looks like uh, Sequoia's is trying to push it again. Argander brings it down. Ooh, a little out of control oh, there. Out of control, but it pays off. He gets the foul. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. That's something you want to pay off right there. A left-handed hook from 15 feet out. Yeah, while well, going 30 miles an hour. Yeah, he was a little bit out of control, <laughs> but he got the payoff there. A so little on the OC our side. Gander will be shooting two. And he also has a nice form. First. He makes it a nine-point lead, and with this one, he could make it double digits, and it is. So it comes back down by double digits. Uh, they put the score on the, looks like they put the score on the home. Yeah, they'll be correcting that one real quick. Yeah. Well, Russell, Russell picks up his dribble. Gives it to Romano. Hmm. 
Lonnie Dassey pushing They're trying out. to get him down low, but that outside shooter down low. Oh, nice little drive. We haven't called Diaz's name. <laughs> Nacho Diaz. Nacho. He goes in through the trees. No one thought he was going to take it all the way to the hole, and then he picks up a foul here. That's well, yep. good to see Diaz back in there, bringing a little... A little heat, a little passion. Yep. Well, I, like, I love it when the little guys drive. Just <laughs> he's not little. He's 6'7". <laughs> well, he looks little from, from over here. 6'7". <laughs> oh, got another foul. Picked up two quick ones. Well, it's not hurting him. It's a fourth or fifth foul of the Cougars, so they're still not in the bonus. I think they're all laughing at him. Oh. Nice, nice little, little move there by nice the Nice little dip. Dassey give it go. Oh. Uh, mustard off the hot dog there. Turnover by Russell. You know, he tried a no-look pass right to the defense, but it's still a 10-point game. Anything it's can happen. Nice Anything can happen. Oh, and there you go. Unforced error. Goes back to the Cougars. I'll be honest with you, the, the uh, Sequoia scorekeeper at the desk was open. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he was ready for the pass, though. So. Romani with the ball. Over to Aaron Russell. Hands off to Lonnie Dassey. Picks up his dribble, nowhere Dassey to go. Finds an open Ignacio Diaz, who finds an open Russell, who oh, Romano stole it. By Romano. And Cougars get the ball back. Uh oh, here comes another platoon of so another Sequoias. line shift, and Clark is back in. Starting rotation is back in for College and Sequoias. Where is the College of Sequoias? Visalia. Visalia. Home of Merle's Diner. Is that where... Uh, I think they have a good milkshake, if I recall. Is that where Magic Mountain is? No. No, that's no, Valencia. No, that's Valencia. Visalia's in the desert. Uh, Visalia is over in the Central Valley. Central Valley, which is still hot. And speaking of hot, let's see if the outside shooters for the Sequoias are hot. Nope, not on that one. Oh, he's got numbers, in the break, but, but he slows it down. I don't know if he knew he could feel the pressure behind him. Aaron Russell. Oh, block. He looked, like he, was gonna, block. he looked like he was going to dunk that. And Aaron Russell is still down at the other end of the court and leaving a layup wide open for Collins of Sequoias. I think was that, Sequoias. was that Gill? Tyree Gill, 22. Yeah. He's normally their outside shooter. He's got six from the outside, but he scored that one right in the paint. So six minutes, 12 seconds left to play. Cougars so far this year. Now it's a 12-point lead. Are, are one and one this year. They opened the season with a, a win over West Hills Lamore, who was ranked 17th. Mm -hmm. Then went and played West Hills Colinga. Okay. Uh, who was unranked and lost in a double overtime game earlier this week. How'd they do with Lamore? They beat Lamore. Oh, okay. So they beat Lamore. So they've already taken down one ranked team. The Cougars last year came, were 13 and 15, missed the playoffs. You know, they weren't as strong as they were co going into the pandemic as they were coming out. Okay. Uh, but so they knocked off a ranked team already, but then lost to Colinga in double overtime in Colinga. So. Well, but. You know, getting a college team to uh, have a winning percentage on the road is probably one of the toughest things a coach yeah. can, can, can do. I believe it's you're, you're lucky if you get 40% if you're, if you're on the road. However, that doesn't seem to have faced uh, the Sequoias today. Yeah. I'd like to see their shooting percentage because it seems to be pretty high. I think their turnovers are also pretty high. I think that's probably what Coach Jensen is going to talk to them. Uh, after the game. Yeah. What we're seeing so far, I, th I think it's a lot of depth and a right. lot of height that the uh, Cougars haven't been able to match. Uh, you know, Kalen Clark's in there. He's He's been tough to stop when he gets the ball in there. He's, it, well, but they got to cover him. In the yeah. last three baskets he had, he was wide, yeah. 
in the, in the paint. I don't know what the and he's defense. He's a big guy, but, but that's one of those things is, is I, well, I don't they know had if the Cougars have a physical player down the post that can keep them at bay. Well, no. Because he seems to have free range down there. But they had him at bay in the first half, and they had a lot of switching defenses to him. They were uh, keeping him off the blocks. And and because the Sequoia's is shooting so well from outside, they kind of released yeah. him. So, You know, is is Dossi a post player? Because they seem to want to feed him down in the post. I would think they would want to screen for him to give him an outside shot. But he's sc screaming for the ball down at the on the block. Oh, well, he had position there, but he he got run <laughs> hit by a truck there <laughs> at the end of that play. Pass, and then he, see that's more of his game like that. There you go, three pointer for Dossi. It's a sweet shot. He's got a very no, no, sweet it, shot but. There. And then is, and off the pass, not off the dribble. That's why it's, I'm kind of confused why they're setting him up. He's trying to get his teammates to set him up down low. Oh, nice. Oh! Yeah, Whip. they're going to call that oh. goaltending. Uh. <laughs> well, Mason Romano. That's always a fun stat to have, though, uh, on the record, yeah. the goaltending. <laughs> they I don't know if that was going to go in. That no, was it low, was. But but he got a nice low the, on the backboard. And that's, that was the lowest. It hadn't got to its highest point. The, the lowest altitude goaltending. But they have to call it if it's off the glass. Yeah. So. If the ball has it, has, it hadn't reached its arc yet. So I think that's. See, there he is trying to go down yeah. low on, on taller players. So I really don't understand that. Oh, that's a goaltender. Now that's a real goaltender. Goal <laughs> that was off the rim. To, to add <laughs> insult to injury, the ball hits him in the back of the head. <laughs> okay, back-to-back -back goaltending here. At the, you know, if you like high How flying. How often do you see that? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, not from a Rusty Blair team. And normally the smaller, faster players that like to shoot outside. But, you know, it's all entertainment. Oh. Well, they, they played this guy over Diaz again, and he got a layup last time, so they fed him again down low, and this time he gets a foul. So that's three on Diaz. Or is it four? And now, no, we're only, Quest only has five fouls. So that was considered a shooting foul? Well, that comes with a spell, too. But, uh, you know, he is giving away 50 pounds there to, to Miller. And Miller's just using using that body to back him down. So, Oh, yeah. He either needed help or he's going to have to get the foul to keep him getting, from getting an easy basket. Well, you're right about that, Pete, because it's not always just height, too. Yeah. You know, it, you know, if a guy has muscle down low, he's going he's gonna to impart his will on you. And Especially Miller got, when he's Miller posting got his two you. points, but <laughs> yeah, no, he did. He had to work for it. Now we have Mathis. Yeah, see, he got caught. He didn't know. He <laughs> he got left alone under the basket. Wasn't sure what to do. And another out of control. Real Amanya. Amanya doesn't realize he doesn't have numbers. Nice pass to Romano. Let's see if the circus shot goes, and it does. Well, yeah, we haven't finishes. called Romano's number in a while. He's a guy the Cougars need to get hot. Like I said, he, he had a big game the first night, near triple-double the next night. Expecting a little bit more out of, out of Romano tonight. This is, I think the Cougars, as it goes, is going to be how Romano goes and how Russell goes. That's going to be the key in the Cougars' success. So they can... Well, and that's the thing, is that they haven't really been trying to feed him down low. They haven't been trying to design the offense so that he he gets into his spot. They seem to be content to play the perimeter and then drive. I like the move Coach coach did, bringing in. And it looks like he got blocked there. Mathis, Michelle. So Mathis is kind of match up with, with, uh, with Clark. With Clark, so we got a little 6-9 on 6-9. Yeah, but he came off his man. Okay, so we're shooting two. Basket's no good. We're shooting two. We've got three minutes and 26 seconds. The Cougars so are have evened up. down by n nine here on their home court. And we're going to be quiet and listen 
to the shot. Now these guys don't go through go through much of a shooting motion when, uh, when they're at the line, do they? No. They, they, don't, they, the, they do the not want to overthink it. Huh? Keep it simple. We'll see if he even looks at the rim. That's very, yeah, not much of a shooting motion, but then Romano gets the skies for the rebound. See, I don't see any screens down low. Look, they're, they seem to be really content just running around the perimeter. We had them, oh, oh. and then trying to, do, trying to drive into traffic. Romano gets fouled on that one. He'll be shooting two. So our volunteer, ooh, what? Did we not get the call on that? And Rusty seems the really upset. He was upset about something else. Okay, well, we'll see what this is about. Don't normally you play music at this point? <laughs> Yes, yeah, so what, what the idea is to play the music so nobody can, in the stands can hear. Hear Rusty <laughs> <used to> <laughs> swear. <laughs> <laughs> they keep a PG over here. Okay, well, he's having an animated no, I, discussion with the ref, but we have on camera here. Let's I've, I've known about. Rusty for, gosh, it's been, been 25 some odd years now, and I've, I have never personally heard Rusty use a curse word. So Does he do he's stuff saying, like foul ball or knucklehead? Is, or? He is uh, I've seen he's, him turn red. Yeah, uh, he's, I mean, that's that's his. Well, color he's, he's got to protect his players. When he sees Mason Romano throwing on the floor right there, he's got to say something. And he's going to protect his players. But he's no, you have to. He, he is always red on those lines, and uh, so he's. I've, I've been to a square dance in a rodeo, and that's the worst call <laughs> I ever saw. <laughs> you think that's what it's kind of, he's kind of saying there? <laughs> no. <laughs> And then I'm going to use that someday. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, yeah, it looks like he's kind of smile. Actually, this is the calmest I've ever seen Rusty Blair when his team is behind. And I, I think part of it is that he knew the competition he was going up against, and he's probably pretty satisfied with, well, I guess at now it's a 10 point uh, deficit. And college of the scores has not disappointed. Yeah, you got to remember. I mean, this is Wani's back from last year. Rue's back from last year. Right, right. Maurice is back from last year. But and Kobe's back from last year. You got oh, four, four so guys, and, and uh, you get a lot of new guys on this team. Oh yeah. And well, so it's, it's going to take a while for them to gel. And that's why you, but they they get to test themselves against. I mean, Sequoia's one of the best in the state. No, it did, reminds me of. Of you know George Perlis, the Michigan State football coach, he his preseason was you know like Notre Dame and Florida State and and Miami, <laughs> and he wanted his players to be tested early, where Alabama does like what they do community college preseason, <laughs> don't they? Sisters of Mercy, College of Blind, <laughs> <laughs> Vassar. <laughs> Uh, a little rough down there. Wani Dassey got thrown to the floor. Well, he's 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 earned his lumps today, though. I mean, because he's been yeah. on the floor. He's twisted his ankle. Uh, he's tried to drive into traffic several times. You know, he's gonna he's gonna feel this game tomorrow morning. Yeah, and he doesn't have much time to waste because Gavin, as you saw earlier tonight, is another tough team. So, and then a typical shot that should have gone should be a hundred percent it's uh, free does, right doesn't get for the oh, another drop oh that's got nice how many, travel how many, how many steps can you get now see uh, look and rusty blair sitting down on the bench not doing it he's not saying it's, anything it's, both of those guys you know it's uh and then again into the trees but gets the <laughs> bucket all right great great body control there by aaron russell the drove baseline had yeah. to move back inside moved into his player got the basket and well, the foul you know, I got. I got to tell you, not Don, intimidated by two players <laughs> in the same spot, huh? I, I, ha I hate to sound like the old guy in the group, but right, right. Uh, but when I played, uh, growing up and through high school and all that stuff, you just chucked I, it. I, I, I watch watch games today in the NBA. It's tough. It's like travel, carry, all those things I would have been called for. It seems so unfair. 
that the, the, well, you those mean the calls Jordan? Made, those calls are not made Have anymore. Have you ever seen NBA call palming? <laughs> <laughs> it's just not called anymore. In my mind is going, you can't do that. You can't well, do that. But it didn't work out for so, college of Sequoia's on that. Yeah, that, on one, that, that one that was three, a, a, step, step. <laughs> a step too far. <laughs> oh, but wide open in the shot on the curl. And that's a nice Nesbitt. pull up right there by yeah. Amari Nesbitt again. Well, they're coming out their screens and. A little full court press right there. Yep, with two minutes to go and Cuesta down by 12 points. They're, well, they're keeping up the pressure so Cuesta can't get in their rhythm on offense, and I think that's what's going on. And this is the tough Romano's thing. taking them one on one and then losing. Yeah, this is the tough thing right here where the Cougars, they don't have that, that big guy down low where it's. Right. The, well, just anchor to get the two. Go anchor to well, get the two. Well, but they could use Romano down low. Yeah. Oh, and there oh, he there goes. goes Romano. Steal. Let's see. This should be a dunk. And it is. And Romano right. stealing a basket. There you go. 70 76. Okay. Getting it down to uh, under under double figures. With with a minute 30, it's still possible. That's only two possession. Well, if, if the Cougars can clamp down on D. And, and get some offensive rebounds, yes. And Gassie gets the rebound. Oh, a little bit too hot to handle, right? A little mustard off the hot dog on that one. No, I think it got deflected by one of the Sequoia uh, players, touched. and then it went off uh, Quest's hands. Yeah. But it was that was a rocket. Get him with the bounce pass. Okay, let's see Thanks, if they coach. try to play the clock here. Yeah, they're going to force the Cougars to foul. They're moving it out. Well, maybe not. They're going to try and go for it. Well, they're down low. He picked up his dribble. Nowhere to go. And there they go. Now he's got to shoot the three, doesn't he? Hard one for three. Oh, that looked close. That was, that was a good look, though. And Romano and Dassey. Mug Amar Nesbitt, but knocked the ball out. Not a foul. Well, they have so some fouls to give. they'll probably come up and give foul. Yeah, they have some fouls to give, uh, but it looks like Rusty's content. Oh, nice little. And there's a lucky fan catch. <laughs> Catches the ball in the first row. That's why you got to keep your hands up when you're in the first row, Pete. Oh, it looks like we got a timeout, even though. Now that's why we have our safety noodles on, on the front of the thing, just in case. Yeah, um, yeah. our uh, athletic director, Bob Mariucci, put those on there. Special. Yeah. Right. Hope nobody's missing to, the um, tomorrow. Uh, to save our dry cleaner? <laughs> <laughs> Is no, he just, here today? Just in case an official or somebody came by and bumped into that. Well, you know, we, we set up here for in the previous game, and the official said, no way. And, uh, and But then he said, you could do it next game. And I'm like, really? How do you know? <laughs> so he wouldn't be in charge. He wouldn't be the, I, I guess think so. he was worried about running it. Maybe he's not a. I guess so. But we're here, we're comfortable. They can hear us. We got the cameras and go, going and everything. We have an all volunteer crew. So, all right. And if oh. you want to complain of the quality of the broadcast, that's Brandon Tabaras. Um, I can give you his email. He's the, uh, the director of today's volunteer crew. Well, I, I really do appreciate having, you know, Hey, do you remember college before students, we used to do this? College students come out here and blow off part of a three-day weekend. For, oh, for we have a three-day weekend? This is a three-day weekend. We, do, we got Monday off? No, we don't. We have today off. Oh. That doesn't, well, I always have today off, <laughs> except for when I'm doing a ball game. <laughs> so happy Veterans Day to everybody out there. Thank you for your well, service. Well, what better way <laughs> to celebrate Veterans Day than to come to the Cuesta College gym and look at the fans. We actually have quite a few fans today. And watch the number two in the, in the division, the Sequoias, play some excellent basketball. And watch Cuesta play with them toe to toe, only six points down. <laughs> All right, so that that's okay. Well, that, that was yeah, it kind of looked like that. that. That could have been a foul, or that could have been a. Well, but you know, refs are part of the game. You know, some some refs are really good. Some you gotta you gotta learn. And they don't see everything, but they call everything. <laughs> or they try to call everything. Okay, are we in the bonus? No. They are now. One and one right okay, now. Because that's the seventh foul the Cougars. 
on Aaron Russell. But, and you know, with the time constraints, not a bad time to put him yep. at the line. Yep. And Javon Gar Garcia gets the, makes the first. Well, as long as he misses, misses at least one, it's, it's good. That'll look good. Well, it looks like the crowd is coming alive, and uh, it makes doesn't help two. us. Cougars need a three here. Yep. There's Aaron Russell. Oh, and he dribbles out of bounds. Oh, that's a tough one. Yeah, we'll see, see what I tell you does is the Sequoias will well, that was slow not it down a and try and burn clock or? Unforced error because uh, I think yeah, Colin got, a hand on got it. a hand on it. And then here's the foul. Okay. okay. No, that's what they'll do. So the Cougars 31 seconds away. At the line is Javon Garcia again. Just yeah, I, wish, two. I wish that shot was like a close-up instead of head and shot. All right. See it worked out. Oh, but then the turnover. And now he can run out the clock right here, I think. No, nope. yeah. you got to have to foul again. Caden, he's going to the line again. So, Mari Nesbitt. Brandon, tell, still tell one Caden one to get a close-up. Still one and one <laughs> and with there the bounce, Nesbitt makes the first. He'll get a second. Let's see if he gets a closer shot here. And no. Ooh, that and one was even better than the lead. first. So it's going to be a little tougher for the Cougars. There, but they still have the pressure D on, and it does cause a turnover. And... <laughs> I think Sequoia's going to be content to run out the clock. Well, we got run out the clock here. We down 12 seconds. And that's going to be a 10 point loss for the Cougars. 80 to 70, College of Sequoia. And that's the, that's the bell. <laughs> Did we throw the in the towel there in the last 12 <laughs> seconds? Oh. But, but, you know, if they're. they're chasing around the, <laughs> at that point, it, it would. 12 seconds left. Probably just going to get somebody hurt. If they're making their so if they're making their one on ones, there's, there's nothing you can do. You're going to lose the game. If, yeah, the Cougars have come down. They've made a couple get, turnovers there. Get but the handshakes. 80, 70. The Cougars cool second game against a ranked team, and they're one and two on the season. Uh, well, it's still know, young. They're, they're play, still they're trying to find tough, themselves. Tough right? teams, and this team I think is just going to get better and better. It's a tough matchup. You've got a lot of size and a lot of experience with Sequoias. But 80-70, yeah, that's, that's about. That's not too bad. That's not too well, bad. We'll see how the We're Sequoias like do. We'd like single digits. But, yeah. Right. Well, we'll see how the Sequoias do in the tournament then. Who, who do they have up next, Pete? Uh, they're they're going to have Alan Hancock, I think. Uh, okay. That Is that going to be a good test for him? I well, Alan Hancock uh, lost today, didn't they? Alan Hancock lost today. Hancock's got a lot of things. I think they're going to match up a little bit better with him. Uh, Size-wise, okay. Hancock has, has some good size. It's a big big guys inside. Uh, I, I, you know, what I'm seeing from Sequoias is they're going to be tough all over. They got okay. a lot of depth. They got a lot of shooting. Um, well, but that's all the fun that we have here at the Henson's Tire Pro Winter Classic. So if uh, and how long is the tournament going on, Pete? That that tournament is going to go all the way to about nine ten o'clock tomorrow night, or to seven or eight o'clock tomorrow night. So. If uh, we used, yeah. They, they have them up there. Well, for <laughs> Pete Schuler, I'm John Arnold. This has been Quest of TV and the all uh, volunteer crew. I know I got a couple of cameramen that are waiting for their ride. So, Pete, it was uh, great having you uh, here. Thank you, John. And I hope everybody has a great we'll see rest you next, of the weekend. We'll see you uh, with uh, Cougar uh, basketball for on the women's in December. Yes. All right. And from there, we bid you good day. Fade out the credits.